A huge shark rocks a man and nearly knocks him in the water. If you're ever in this rare situation where you have a tiger shark approaching you, this is what you should do. As the shark gets closer, make sure you maintain eye contact and reach out your hand and lock your elbow. Then press your hand down flat on the top of the shark's head and follow through while pushing your body over and away from them. Leave your hand along the side of their body, that way you can maintain that extra space in case the shark does decide to turn back and check you out again. Then, after the shark starts to swim away, make sure to do a look around and make sure there are no other sharks. Oh, 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 oh holy oh, shit! Oh, oh my god, look at it! There. Oh! Oh, 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 holy shit! Oh, 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 A man is out on the Florida Keys in his kayak and encounters a tarpon when a much bigger and more dangerous surprise comes along. <laughs> Shark encounters don't just exist in horror films. The dangerous and opportunistic fish live in our oceans, and unfortunately for them and for us, run-ins are common. Here are eight shark encounters to look at twice. I am your host, Curtis. So these guys are out fishing in the ocean with some little ass wooden boats for some reason. They caught something much bigger than a goldfish. Oh my gosh! Dude, that's like a nine or ten footer. That is not like seven. That, that's huge. Are you kidding me? A ten foot shark and all y'all got are these little flimsy boats? Hell to the gnaw. A shark gets a little taste of boat. Just run and run and run, do his thing. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? Woo! <laughs> that was so cool. That was a giant tarpon. Oh my gosh! 40 pound leader. That <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> Got him out. 
Oh my gosh! Holy sh! Oh my god! What? We gotta break this off. Oh my god! Whew, all right, holy! Excuse my French. That is was just insane. Look at this! Oh my god! <laughs> This is actually an eight-year-old who was diving in this beautiful water when he is attacked by a black tip shark. Thankfully, he was not empty-handed and managed to fight the shark off. But this attack came out of nowhere and was terrifying. If this is indeed a bull shark, then all I can say is that I am glad this man didn't fall in the water. Bull sharks are very aggressive. Contrary to popular belief, hammerhead sharks are usually not aggressive towards humans. Usually. But they are still sharks, and you can never forget that. This man will be reminded. It's a hammerhead, dude! What's he doing? Come after you now, Bennett. What is it? Wow. He's coming after me. keeps his distance, and then swims away. Suddenly it reappears, and makes a much closer pass by the group. So here's a video of a curious white tip shark, where snorkelers are there, like filming some pilot whales, and have a run in with the shark of course. Now, the shark appears to leave them alone a couple of times, and then struck without warning. Thinking that the white tip has finally left, the group returns their attention to the pilot whales. Ouch! Imagine getting bitten with rows of serrated teeth. This snorkeler did not see that coming. So this happens in Florida where a guy kayaking in the Matanzas Inlet, which is between St. Augustine and Flagler Beach. A guy is out kayaking by his lonesome when he gets a pretty nice shock. I'm not 
clear if this is just one shark in his area or multiple, but nonetheless, he started to put a rush on it after this encounter and was trying to get the heck out of there. Smart man. Here's a guy with his GoPro who goes diving in the water in Sydney, Australia, and it seems pretty peaceful at first. Then he makes a terrifying discovery. Look at the size of this shark. The people he is with are the ones that alert him to the giant shark who very nearly devoured him. Like who would not be in that water is my black ass. Unbelievable. Like I'm not clear on what kind of shark this is, but it's huge. This couple is just sitting in their kayaks and being pretty patient. Certainly more patient than I would have been. But then again, you ain't never heard of no black man ever getting eaten by a shark. Except Samuel Jackson, of course. Anymore! We're going to pull together and we're gonna find a way to get out of here. First, we're gonna seal off this <laughs> The shark circles around the kayaks for several minutes on that predatory stalking type stuff, right? That they usually do. But thankfully, nothing escalated. <laughs> hey, Heidi. Hey, Heidi, get in the boat. Yep. So this is about four miles off of Key West where this woman is swimming in this beautiful water and thankfully had someone there with her looking out because this could have went totally bad. It's crazy no matter how big a shark is that they're able to move around so stealthily. This woman would have never known what hit her. Crap. Can you imagine? <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, they're like circling. Look. Look out. Look. Oh, Whoa! Oh my god! Oh, he went through. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy happening? fuck ball. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Oh my god, what's happening? Holy shit. Here's a clip where there is someone in a cage and this caught the attention of a great white shark. The shark actually ended up getting its head stuck in the cage of all things. Can you imagine what would have happened to the guy in the cage had this shark managed to wriggle its way into the cage? Homeboy would have been a goner. Some good Samaritans try to save a shark stranded on the beach. A man is in Key West, Florida in his kayak when he gets an abrupt surprise. 
At first, it's not clear on if the shark just so happens to be close to the kayak and maybe got a fish close by or was attacking the kayak itself. Nevertheless, the man seemed to indicate the shark was attacking the kayak. What the fish snatcher? Look at this. There's a shark in the lake. What the? Well, look, y'all, quit rocking the boat, beast. I'm going to throw you in the water. You better stop. You better stop. This is crazy. What the fish snatcher? There is a great white shark in the water. It's getting it's moving, it's getting closer. Wait, wait, that guy, do you think he knows? The swimmer is in grave danger. There's something in the water. There's something in the water. There's something in the water. Run! Oh my god! I mean no. swim! No. Onlookers are trying to warn the swimmer. There's something in the water. How do we let him know that something's there? The shark is preparing to attack. He has no idea what danger he's in. There's a guy out there. Should we get him to help? Is that what you do? Yeah. Oh my god, should we get him? Let's try and call him. Wait! Help him! Help him! He's stuck. There's a shark. The man notices the shark and desperately tries to escape. There's a shark in the Follow for part two. We got jaws on, baby! We got jaws on! At least we got to see him. Whatever happens now, doesn't matter. I better turn though. Oh shit! That was a little more excitement than I wanted. Hopefully he's not following me. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. All right, the water level looks normal in there right now. Hopefully, hopefully it's all good. Holy crap. <sighs> Less than a week after a reported shark encounter off Maui, a separate shark attack has been confirmed off the Big Island. It happened just after 8 o'clock this morning. A 68-year-old man was taken to the hospital and is now in stable condition. Bryce Moore has details. The Hawaii Police Department says the victim was swimming about 400 yards off Anaiho'omalu Bay in Waikoloa. Shown on the right in this picture, Mackenzie Haber says the swimmer didn't get back on his own. The lady that's in that one picture who actually went out in the paddleboard heard a super loud scream and they both went, oh, what's going on? And I said, I don't know, I'll check, that's not normal. Pictured on the left is another rescuer. Haber says there was no hesitation. And so she went and got Kai and they got on their paddleboards and started heading right out. Fire officials say the swimmer had a diving knife on him and was able to fend off the beast. A flyover spotted a 12 to 15 foot tiger shark in the area. After Good Samaritans helped him back to shore, one witness couldn't believe the man was still conscious. I, I got a good five feet away but from the guy laying down and the ambulance got down here. I think perfect timing, but the guy, he said he couldn't really feel anything because he was in shock. Good thing there's those guys here today, some local guys, and they paddled out to him and grabbed him in. Haber says he's seen bait balls recently at A Bay, large schools of fish that attract predators like sharks. A 12-foot tiger shark is a lot different than a reef shark. That is pretty much our apex predator. They can be more aggressive than a great white at times. Experts say it's no reason to be scared of the ocean, but instead a reminder. It's their world under the surface. Probably every time that someone's been swimming in the waters around Hawaii, a shark has been in the vicinity, and the shark has seen you, but you haven't seen the shark. Something to think about, you know, not something to scare you away from using the water, but just be real smart and cautious when you go down there. 
The swimmer was taken to North Hawaii Community Hospital in serious condition, but police say he's been stabilized and will be brought to Oahu to treat non-life-threatening injuries. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.